to my channel learn at cloud analytics in this video we are going to talk about the difference between sum and sumx function in power bi so without any delay let's get into the video so what is a sum function so sum function is basically used to evaluate the sum of all the rows in a specific column so this is similar to a, a basic sum function in any database okay uh, so now let's try to understand what is a sum function, sumx function in Power BI. So sumx is an iterative function. So whenever we see this x next to the uh, DAX function, right? So that uh, would indicate that that particular function is an iterative function. Okay. So what does the sum function do, sumx function do? So let's say that if you want to make some calculation for every row, and then after getting the result of that particular calculation, you, uh, so, um, so basically it's like if you would like to make some calculation for every row and then after getting the result of that calculation, you want to sum the results from that particular calculation, then you can use the sumx function. Okay, so what the sumx function does is, since it's an iterative function, it stores the result of each and every row in the memory and when the calculation of all the rows is complete only then it results the result set in the form of a table okay so this is the use of a sumx function so and also remember that when you are using the sumx function and uh, let's say that if your data set is quite large or if you're dealing with a huge data set, then you might have to wait for a certain amount of time because as I mentioned, the sumx function is involved with a memory. So therefore, it stores all the calculations for every row in the memory. And when all the row calculations are complete, only then you would get the result set, resultant set okay so for all this to happen it might take some time to complete okay so i hope you understood the difference between a sum and a sumx function and how you can apply this so now let's try to understand this with a practical example so i have taken two examples here just to make sure that you get this right uh, understanding so below here as you can see the screenshot I have few columns of data set. So I have uh, the date corresponding to the different products that I have uh, and the quantity of products that have been uh, sold and the unit price for every uh, product. Okay. So likewise, we have four different columns with their corresponding data. Now, if I'd like to calculate the total products, I can just use the plain sum function to get the total product value. So I'll just apply that sum function on my quantity column and then I get the total uh, sum of the values within that corresponding column. Okay, so 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 9, right? So that would give us the total products in that particular table. Now, when we have a scenario where we would like to do some calculation and once the calculations are complete, we would like to get the sum uh, of that entire column. Then we use the sumx function. So now in this example, if you see, if I'd like to calculate the total sale amount, then my calculation would be that first I would like to uh, multiply this quantity and the unit price values. And after I get the resultant value, then I would like to do the sum of that all the values in that particular column okay so for that i use the sumx function by specifying that okay i would like to multiply uh, do the calculation first on the quantity and the unit price so both of these columns first needs to be um, multiplied and the resultant whatever the data set is uh, computed right on that we would like to get the sum of all the values and that is corresponding to 21.5 okay so uh, like how did uh, we arrive at 21.5 means uh, 1 multiplied by 1.5 is 1.5 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 similarly 4 multiplied by 2.25 2 multiplied by 3.25 so whatever the values that we get are against to this multiplication now we are trying to do the total sum of that particular column so we just apply the resultant uh, sum on that particular calculation so that is deriving this uh, 21.5 value 
okay so when you like to apply a calculation and then you'd like to apply a sum on that uh, resultant set then you go with the sum x function okay so i hope you understood from this particular example so let's try to apply the same uh, on a practical example here so here i've considered uh, two uh, separate cards so one is uh, to retrieve the total product card uh, for total product cost and the other card is uh, trying to calculate the total sale amount okay so for this i've taken the sales uh, table from the adventure works database and uh, what i've done is for the total product cost i've just used this uh, total product cost as the value to see so it's just a straightforward uh, uh, measure value so we are not applying any calculation in there okay and if i'd like to get the total sale amount uh, what I have done is I've used this uh, uh, measure that I've created on this table and the calculation that I've used is sum x of and the first parameter that we need to insert is the table. So I have to specify which is my table on which I'd like to compute this function. Okay, so my table name is sales. So I've given that parameter as is uh, and then followed by comma and now I have to specify the calculation. So here the calculation is I would like to multiply the quantity and the unit price and then apply the sum function. Okay, so in this manner we can use the sum and sum x function within Power BI. So I hope you understood this uh, difference between sum and sum x and when do you uh, use these uh, two functions in a given data set. So if you like this video please do uh, give a thumbs up and uh, uh, we'll catch up again in the next video. Thank you.